Hi folks, Lance from Runtime. Hope you're having a great day and a great start to your week. Now I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this digital oscilloscope. It's a tiny little device, but I think it packs a huge amount of functionality into such a small package. So this is the device. I'm also going to point you to a GitHub repository, which I think you guys should check out, where some guy has built an operating system for this device, which extends the functionality of the device immensely. So I highly recommend you check that out. I got it on my desk here, so I put that away. So this is the actual device here, and you can see I've got it all set up. You can actually navigate the menu using these the A dial and the B dial. The B dial actually gives you more functionality into a menu. So let's say you want to go into a menu and the way it works is that you've got these, you can zoom in here, you've got these controls, you've got the sample control, that's when you sample uh, the input. This device also allows you to output as well. Then you've got the menu button and then you escape and OK if you want to do uh, basically set whatever setting that you have. So let's get into this just quickly and let's look at the menu for this particular option. You might not be able to see it very clearly but in here it says input and it gives you different options. User, and the user is just, um, and also changes the settings on the left hand side, channel one, channel two. It's got four channels basically on this device. It's given you SPI input, I squared C input, UART input, and of course, uh, you've got the user. Now I've got it connected to user because I just want to look at the channels. And you can see on my board here, this is my STM32 board, and I've got it connected to some output pins. Now those output pins are being driven up and down. So if you click into the menu, you've got the time base, which you can change. All these different types of triggers, you got it here. Then if you go down, you've got the condition. Is it gonna be a falling edge or a rising edge? And then also you've got the logic level as well. You can change it, uh, the voltage actually is up to three volts. It only accepts up to three volts maximum. We've got file system. Now the file system, if you click into it, it menu you can actually save the output of your particular scan your sample you can save it as a CSV file or you can save it as a BMP file you have to have this connected to the USB port there's a USB port here mounts it on your computer like a drive and it will appear inside the drive final one is settings let's go to settings and then in here you've got the save parameters restore parameters you can set basically you can set up the the settings for this so you can save all the parameters and you can restore them in order to sample you push the sample button and it should sample so if we go in here see the signal there there you can see it there and if you look at the bottom there you can see 10.5 milliseconds and that's it's a really nice bit of kit this is a quick demo of it there is a piece of software so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually go over to that software now and we're gonna switch to that so this is the actual website this additional operating system for this device and you can see this guy has gone to a lot of trouble to to create this and he's done a fantastic job and really what you what he's done is he's kind of made a kind of like an app store for this and he's got loads of different apps that you can download into this and run on this device and it's really well done so i i highly recommend if you've got one of these devices have a look and download this software and burn it onto this device i'm going to be doing that and then i'll come back and give you guys another video to look at hopefully that was useful and a quick overview of this amazing little kit that you can buy very cheaply it's got a huge amount of functionality so hope you guys can use that in your own work now at runtime we place engineers around the world we're currently looking for firmware engineers for some of our clients all over australia in melbourne in adelaide and sydney in perth and in Queensland. So if you guys are out there in these states and you want to change and you want to actually work for some amazing companies, hit me up, lance at runtimerec.com or check us out on our website, www.runtimerec.com or just send me a message on LinkedIn. That'd be cool. Have yourself a great week. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.